Okay, <laughs> shop tour time. Oh, wow. <coughs> um, got me a second one of those. Got me a nice little gorilla tie this time. Those are kind of cute. I like those. Um, been a while since I made a video. I broke this bulb, so I recently replaced this bulb, but it's not a shop bulb. It's just an LED bulb that don't shine back in your light, back in your eyes. Um, and it's pretty shock resistant, but I did break one, so I don't think that they're indestructible. But I like it real well for my handheld. I got this. That's my second one. I liked it so much, I went and got me a second one. I got this here if I need to use my extension cords. Um, oops, and then I do something boneheaded, like pull on the wrong part of the cord. It's been a while since I've been in the shop because I've been sick, and it's been cold, and I had car problems, and... The Suburban is gone. Why? Because I didn't want to fight it this winter. Uh, so I got my backup car, the Kia Sedona, out. And that's what I'm going to use to depend on until I get a real plan together. Um, I still have my Yukon out there if I need to move a trailer for any reason. But I don't like going up and down the road in that one either. And I certainly don't depend on it. Uh... <coughs> Excuse me, still getting over cold. Just about got it done though. Today I actually have energy and feel like doing some of this, but I got that one last year, liked it real well. Up here, that is a magnet with a bolt and a big washer. And then that's where I put my grinder wheels and cutting wheels. Grinder wheels at the bottom, cutting wheels on top because I use them more. It was an idea I had and it just sits up there. I uh, like it real well. Uh, sandblaster. Last summer I made a boneheaded mistake. That's why I have my own shop, because sometimes I make boneheaded mistakes. Um, and I used the halogen light to shine in here. I learned that this bulb right here works real well. The problem with it is it don't stay there. And I had to fight it and tape it on and move it and all this good stuff. So I've seen a picture of somebody that had a uh, work light that they just laid on top of there and I made the mistake of using the halogen I bought the halogen for the heat and that's for the fiberglass whenever I decide I want to play with that it's not good for this glass that's a safety glass um, and it melted it and I could replace this and should replace this and was going to replace this and I realized that with my new light I have which is an LED work light I can just lay it up on there and still see in there so it'll be a while before I replace it not big into spending money or wasting money if uh, it's still working if it ain't broke don't fix it that's kind of broke <laughs> <coughs> but um can't get the shop door open. Normally this shop door seals itself to the ground when things start to thaw and freeze, thaw and freeze. This time we started our winter off with an ice storm and therefore I don't run that big heater up there and that door is going to stay closed until at least March. Oh man, I love it. So upper did not get done the gimbal housing did not get done the prop housing got done um none of that's going to get done uh until i'm able to open the shop door and that's going to be a while so what am i doing i'm getting this shop more organized that's a piece of steel plate i bought today and i bought it so i could overhang it here drill some holes in it and drop those extensions and ratchets there to get them off the table this is going to become my gel coat um, and spray gun cleaning area, mixing, tinting, and cleaning area for when I'm spraying gel coat. Um, I thought that it would be nice to just set that plate on there and get some things off the table and clear up, clean up some more space and get some things more organized. Dust. Blaster, I mean, uh, sand blaster, um, work light. There she be. Bought that at Harbor Freight. Works great. Set it right on top of the glass. Lays flat. Doesn't fall off. Cordless, rechargeable. 32 bucks. Bought it. Like it real well. 
upgraded one of my sanders to this thing. It says customer owned. That's because I went into another store with it in my hand so I could buy this piece and get that kind of stuff. So, um, got to screw that on. All right, my magnet mess. That right there, I'm out of space. So I wanted to buy some smaller magnets and bolt them right there. Um, couldn't find smaller magnets, so I bought a bit, couple bigger magnets, and I'm going to attempt to cut them down and drill them to fit. Never drilled magnets, never cut magnets. Not sure what to expect, or we'll find out. Uh, this mess up here was my sandpaper area. I bought some uh, uh, file organizer things that I'm gonna hang on the side here. That will get me a lot of my sandpaper off the top and down there. Up top here, I'm gonna drill a bunch of holes for anything that's round. Say that again, Rod. Well, let me show you what I'm talking about. This right here, that's a flap disc. I want to keep all my flap discs together. I'm going to drill holes in the top of this thing and set anything that's round on top of this down in one of those holes. Um, <coughs> that will free up all this stuff here, all that stuff there, and I'll get it off there. What I want is I want all the things that are round in one spot, but I want my burr bits specifically. Like I got one there, one there, one there. I want a spot for nothing but burr bits. Uh, I want a spot for nothing but flap discs. I want a spot for nothing but wire wheels. Um, and my magnets are just too full to go that route, so I'm going to add some space over there. Uh, shopping. I went and bought Keegan, his own respirator, because I didn't think it was right that he breathe my yucky stuff after I've been wearing the respirator. I got some more cartridges for those. And uh, more dust pads and dust pad retainers for those. And about this super duper Scotch Bright wheel that I intend to use on some of the outdrive. This thing I saw and I didn't know if I liked it or not, but I wished I had it the other day when I was cleaning the hole for the prop shaft bearing carrier before trying to paint it. That's a Scotch Bright abrasive round ball. So I got some toys um, that I want to try. I found these on a shelf in Ohio. I thought I'd buy them, stick them on a magnet. And if I ever decide I need to clean a hole, I got some more options that are longer to reach down in there. Um, I could also cut these off and stick them in a drill and turn it on and just make it spin. Uh, so I, you know, anytime I find myself in a situation where I think I need a new tool, like on this thing here. When it came down to clean up in here and, and wire wheel or brush or sand, it was just hard to get to. So I, I, I seen some of these on the shelf and I thought, they ain't gonna hurt them to be in the shop. I'm gonna buy them, stick it in the shop, and we'll go from there. And one day I'll probably use them and uh, they'll be there if I get stumped and wanna try something else, uh, that kind of thing. Chip brushes, I was in Harbor Freight the other day. And they have boxes of them. Couldn't help myself. I just went ahead and bought a couple. Um, this year, I'm ordering uh, different fiberglass rollers. Uh, and the reason is, is because I have time before I get down to doing fiberglass. Um, so uh, I'm going to order different fiberglass rollers and I'm going to use the chip brushes more and I'm going to work on the area in the fiberglassing process that I did not know enough about last year and that is removing excess and removing air bubbles on every piece of that glass and the shop is a little tight and a little messy with the doors closed that's why you're not going to see me firing up welders and torches and cutting and doing a bunch of metal work in here I'll just that'll be limited until i can get the door open um over here is my new hose reel that is a milton dual arm steel uh three eighths hose reel i ordered today a very nice one gallon desiccant dryer 
complete with coalescent filter, moisture separator, and regulator all in one package. It wasn't cheap, but it is something that once I have it, I was looking at piecing all that stuff together and I'd have had as much money in it by the time I found all the pieces and I probably wouldn't have enjoyed the uh, desiccant dryer as much as I think I will because this is a one gallon desiccant dryer. That's a big one. So all that being said, I got the dryer coming and I am currently saving up money for a new air compressor. Why are you getting a new air compressor, Rod? Well, let me tell you why. I want to work on a boat. I don't want to work on an air compressor. I fought that thing. All I want to fight it. I could, you know, there's things I could do to it right now to try to make it work. Or I could buy a new air compressor and not guess and not spend a lot of energy guessing. So new air compressor is on its way and new air dryer systems on its way and the hose reel is already here and I will take my drain off of that one and I will take my regulator off of that one and um, I will put my new one in place and start over. Um, and that will take me, I mean, that's the winner's project. It, it really is. I was going to do all this other stuff, but I want to get the shop ready to go. And I still have not got a dust collector. Don't know if I'm getting a dust collector. I just know that I'm in a mentally uh, a better spot right there is a tote i bought just to take the upper apart all the parts out of the upper is going to go in that tote and that's so i can um, get uh, busy sanding and priming and painting because the truth is all these fine things you see me wanting to do around the shop is all about waiting for the magic day when i'm getting back on the boat and I'm ordering a gel coat spray gun. I will be gel coating and spraying. Uh, uh, I will be spraying gel coat on this boat instead of brushing it on. And that is processes I didn't think I would do. And here I am doing them. Uh, and the reason is, is because uh, the boat has taken me a long time. You know, it's taken me three years since I bought it to get this far. And the more I learn about what to do and how to do it, and the more I get stomped and I'm forced to backpedal a little bit and uh, regroup, uh, the more I come up with a plan that works better when it comes time to actually do it. So we're gonna be spraying gel coat and I'm going to be gearing up to spray gel coat and this will be my gel coat area over there's the fiberglass area, this is the gel coat area. So I got some cleaning to do, I got some organizing to do and that's where I'm at today. You guys have a great day, thanks.